This video is brought to you by Manscaped! This Valentine's Day, don't let nicks and cuts ruin your big day! Manscaped is the global leader in men's grooming and hygiene. Creating the world's first all-in-one men's grooming kit. It's got you covered from head to toe. Literally. Over 2 million men trust Manscaped's tools with their family jewels. <laughs> Manscaped sent me their perfect package and their new cologne, Refined. Full of the best products to keep you looking fresh and smelling your best. Look, fellas, do women want chocolate? Not during this season, I've gained enough. Do they want flowers and teddy bears? My house is cluttered enough with you in it. Give her the gift of smoothness with the Manscaped Perfect Package. Not only will you look your best, you'll smell the best, too, with their new cologne, Refined. Now, if I got a treat for you, be sure and use the code JAMES20 and get 20% off your purchase plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Hi, everyone. James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh, my God, you guys. Now, I promised you I'd make this after I bought them and they finally all arrived. So, I'm going to be doing a wig transformation. And these wigs I found while scouring Amazon for, well, wigs. And they got recommended to me. And when I saw the title, I knew it had to happen. Now I'm gonna be styling for you folks a series of wigs I found on Amazon that are all based around RuPaul's Drag Race alumni. Are they officially licensed? No, <laughs> not at all, my goodness. But take a look, take a look. Okay, here's our first one. And this is gonna be like a series. I'm gonna try and film all these in one day. So if I'm wearing the same wig and outfit, you know why. And if I'm not, you know, laziness got the best of me. Either way, here we go. Now this company had Alaska, Viola Chachki, and Kelly Mantle as their celebrity spokespeople unofficially. And the first wig will be Alaska. <laughs> now let's take a look at Alaska's official, unofficial wig. Yes. Okay, it's from HPO, Halloween Party Online. And it doesn't even say Alaska on the like thing or anything. And it arrived, I just got a plastic bag and it actually gave me a mask, which is really nice. They gave me a mask, you know. That's really, really cautious at the times we're in right now. Now, let's take a look at this. <laughs> Ew, okay. Well, I could show you better than I can tell you, so I'm gonna try this on. I'll be <laughs> right back. Welcome back. This is the wig, and oh, goodness, what kind of gay Dracula? What is the, what was the idea behind this wig? Oh my God, like, <laughs> it's not Alaska one bit. It's like Bram Stoker's Dracula, like, well, Bram Stoker's Dracula, if you know what I'm saying here, okay. <laughs> My goodness, these bangs, what is this all about? Now, I don't recall Alaska ever wearing a hairstyle like this, at least nothing close to this. It kind of reminds me of that hairstyle Laganja Stranja wore at the, like, the reunion for season six, only way, 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 way not as nice. Yes, so, okay, I'm gonna take this off. We're gonna try and do something with it, although from further inspection, we'll, we'll see what can be done. All right, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we are back. Now it's time to start transforming this wig. So let's see what can be done. First things first, I gotta try and comb out all this hairspray. Good Lord, okay. Now it's all factory hairspray. Like I don't know what kind of hairspray they use in wigs, but like the second you run a brush through it, it just vanishes. Oh, here we go. Okay, so the hair is not bad. Like it's not like super cheap costume hair. It's actually like a nicer quality costume wig hair. It's not like full on like plastic fishing wire or anything like that. Something you'd find along the lines of like a higher end, you know, party store wig. These two bits are nice. So hopefully they'll probably be doing most of the work. Now let's see what the rest of the wig is like. All right. As you can tell, it's cut and teased down to like nothing. I wonder if this is even, oh yeah, it's, it's attached. Okay. It's just teased to nothingness. And it looks like it's glued or something in the back here, like at the very nape. I wonder if I can rip, oh, I can rip it apart. It's fabulous, okay. Uncovering a mystery right now. Yes, 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 uncovering a mystery. Here we go. Murder she wrote here on this channel. Okay, so the nape is teased all the way down to the track. Oh boy, yeah, that is beyond perma tease at this point. It's just full on like, packing. All right, well, that's definitely a lot to work with. I'll give it that. <laughs> Well, it looks like I got my work cut out for me. I'm gonna try and brush this out off camera and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I am back. Now, the things I do for y'all, this was so much damn work. You see all this nonsense? Good Lord. I don't know what's even gonna be workable out of it, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Okay, let me just raise it up some. Is my dog behind me? Mm -hmm. Huh. What are you doing? 
Baby wants to be a star now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so what I'm, oh, more glue everywhere I turn. Good Lord. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to section off what I can here for bangs because there is a lot of glue still left in this wig that I couldn't cut out. What I'm going to do is try and get most of it and it's, every time I turn, there's new gob everywhere I go. Okay, I'm gonna try and create a bang right here so I don't have to do a rooted hairline. We'll see if it works. I've, damn it, more glue. Ah, bangs, here we go, bangs. All right, I'm not terribly mad at that. It ain't perfect, but it ain't great either. So it's kind of a sloppy bang right now, but it's gonna get better, okay? I have faith I can make this work. There is no wig that is hopeless. Certainly not this one. I believe in you. I truly do. Oh, see, this is good. That that can work. Okay, this is going to work. All right. This is great. This is fine. Everything is fine. Now, let's just cut that a little bit. There's our front bang so far. It's not great. It is not great. But we'll come back to it later. I just want to have a bang so I know where my stopping point is. Okay. As I look over this wig, it's like a weird Ludwig von Beethoven kind of look to it. <laughs> After it's all like been taken out. Like when Daffy Duck was all dressed up to play the piano and he starts really getting into it. Very that. A little bit of Lady Bunny, now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> Maybe that's what I could do with this. Yeah. Cause that's not a terribly neat example. Yeah. Neatness is never part of her appeal. Here we go. That's what we'll do. We'll do a little teeny tiny Lady Bunny inspired wig. And that's really an appropriate thing to do with an Alaska wig. Cause she loves Lady Bunny. As I'm teasing this, yeah, she's looking a lot like Lady Bunny or like a demented Carol Channing, which is sort of Lady Bunny. <laughs> Definitely shades of Carol Channing in that are like Dusty Springfield especially is what Lady Bunny really, really likes. It's a very, very flattering hairstyle. And if we were doing a true Lady Bunny, I'd stack like four more wigs on top of this. <laughs> there was one wig she wore, I believe it was a wig stock, where it was like 12 wigs all clipped together. It looked like a, a giant gelatinous dog on the back of her head. <laughs> big blonde hairy dog on her back, the shaggy dog. Now what I thought was peculiar about this wig is like the inside cap was like two caps sewn together, like one crown here, one crown there. Like I'm guessing like maybe this was supposed to be like a Dracula wig and they just, it didn't sell. So they tried to repurpose it as something else. Who knows the backstory? Or maybe it was like Will Ferrell's character from Zoolander. I'm trying to think like who even had a similar hairstyle. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. <laughs> All right, now I have it sort of formed here. Like <laughs> there's a lot of hair here that's completely unworkable. So it's kind of like just being forced into a position. I know some of you say in the comment section that you can't use other wigs with a wig transformation or it's cheating. But let me just tell you right now, I invented this, okay? So I make the rules on my channel. It's my channel, damn it. So I'll do whatever I want and I want this wig to look good. So whatever it takes, I'm gonna do it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut the bangs a little more. And I like the idea they had of like putting a streak of color in it, like a pop of color, but it's sort of like a weird piss yellow. So I don't like that. What we're gonna do now is add a different pop of color. So I'm gonna take a pink bundle and I'm gonna cut strips of it so I can add like a splash of color in the front. So let's just play along and see what we can do now. Do that and fold it. I'm gonna take a zip tie and tie it together and then put it through into the wig. You could sew it too, but we're in a rush. So, <laughs> so I've been obsessed with this show. I know it's like so, so old and I'm like way behind. It is season five of Love Island. Now bear in mind, I didn't watch anything from seasons one through four. I just started with five because that was recommended to me as like being the best one. So I tried that one first and I have to say, the straights are not okay. <laughs> My goodness, like it should be called Gaslight Island, girl. Like everyone there is just, they'd rather like climb a tree and tell a lie than stand on the ground and say the truth. Honestly, like all these problems could have been solved had someone just like sat down and actually talked about it. It's insane, like the levels of like hoops people will jump through just to seem like they're in the right, even when they're in the wrong. And like, it's weird how like the dichotomy works where you'll see these really, really hot guys. And then as the course of time progresses, you'll be like, oh my God, they're horrible. <laughs> like every bit of thing you found attractive to them is like completely gone. And you're just like, oh my God, this guy is trash. And then it doesn't, it goes both ways too. Like it goes, same way with the girls too. Like you was like, oh, I love her. Like, oh my God. And then they'll do something completely trifling and you completely flip. And just when you think you're comfortable, they bring in another twist. 
Like there's always new people coming in or people going out or the audience votes on who they don't like. England has really got it figured out because girl, I am engaged and this thing is long. I'm only halfway through it. It's like 50 episodes. I'm like episode 26 right now and I don't know what's happening. My nerves have never been more rocked. Like it's weird. I had favorites going into it and then like they just started slowly either slipping away or I don't like them anymore. <laughs> Like the um the professional dancer guy, I was adoring him at first, and now he's like horrible. I'm like, oh my god. It's like you can tell like they're totally just there because they want to make the money. That's the other thing. They're all competing for like 50k as well as like finding love. So it's just like you don't know who's actually there to play a game or who actually like you know wants to find love. And at the end of the day, you're just like, oh my god, I think they're all just insane. Whew. Are you guys still with me? Comment, James, you are amazing if you're still with me. It just makes me feel better. Okay, I need that. I need that kind of motivation in my life. <laughs> yes, okay, okay, okay. This is gonna be great. I have faith in this. James, you have done it again. I'm actually obsessed with that so far, <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> That's fun. Let me just do some more styling on this to make sure it's smooth though, my goodness. <laughs> All right, I am back. Now it's time to start trimming our excess and try and create a shape going on here. So, slowly but surely, let's just start carving it. Like I said, this hair is so like dry and damaged that like you really can just mold it to whatever you want. Yeah, this hair is so dried and textured that you really can do whatever you want to it. It's so old, it'll just do whatever you want. So I'm just gonna trim it and kind of trim it like I'm trimming a hedge. Like little bits at a time, try and get even. And in the back, I don't really have to worry about it because the back is kind of shapeless to be honest with you. <laughs> it's just sort of a helmet. Just this front part's really what matters. And if you're wondering about this part, I actually am gonna put an accessory right here to disguise that join here. If you want it to be extra, extra, like extra with it, you can like add more bundles and like sew it in and make it all disguised and pretty, but I'm just gonna do a bow, girl. <laughs> I got time for all that. Oh, this is cute, okay. Do our other side. Right. She's kind of giving me like Lazy Town vibes. <laughs> oh my God, did you ever see that remake, that like remix of Lazy Town with Lil Jon? <laughs> it's my favorite thing on the internet. <laughs> the do the cooking by the book. Oh, so, so good. Always makes me happy. That and like whenever they mix up like that um, Stephanie Tanner from Fall House, they did one that was like bands make her dance. <laughs> Or like Dark Horse from Katy Perry when the beat drops and she starts dancing. So good. Some of my favorite things on the internet. Now, now what all we're doing now is just basically going through with hairspray and creating a helmet. Making sure this just sits in there nice. And what I even can do is use a blow dryer and low heat. Make that solid. Now I'm gonna keep doing that for the rest of the wig and I'll be right back with the final result. <laughs> Welcome back, this is the final result. Oh my goodness, it's serving like Hecklina or like Jane County kind of vibes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that very much, a bionic bob, yes. Helmet bob. Now Alaska, is this your hair or is this a wig? I'm kind of living for it. It is fabulous, but it's just missing one more thing. A prettier head to display it on. The James Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Ah, now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. This wig was really fun to do. I have to say, I feel like I did the most with the least they gave me, okay? Like this wig was not good at all. Like styling out anything in the back was like not even worth it. I just sprayed it down with hairspray and hoped for the best. And with a little bit of heat from a blow dryer and hairspray, I was able to mold it into something like a shape, but you weren't gonna get that hair back unless you did like some intense steaming to it. And it's honestly not worth the trouble. Now I would like to take a moment, a Venmo where I think everyone has tipped me on Venmo. I also have some PayPal emojis. I would like to thank Eric, Sean, Matthew, DeAndre, <laughs> James and Kenny, Sergio, Anthony and Brayden, and Kurt. Oh my God, Kurt, Jesus. Thank you. Uh, that's all, I'll read it out for you. Okay, thanks for keeping me entertained. 
I will probably never style a wig, and in parentheses, I mean never. But I still watch every one of your videos. Thank you, Kurt. Oh my God. I also have a PayPal money from Susan. Thank you, Susan. Oh my gosh, you are great. Thank you so much, honey. Thank you all so much for the tips on that now and the PayPal money. Now, this week was a lot of fun to do. I have to say, like, I struggled a bit, okay? It was a bit of a struggle, but I feel like I overcame it and made something really fun and fabulous out of this. Now, I'm not excited to see what's gonna come of that Violet Chotsky or Kelly Mantle wig, but you know, I'm not a quitter and we're just gonna have to see, okay? So this will be the end of part one. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Hit the outro. Click here and watch you recreate Farrah Fawcett's iconic hair. Or see me transform the worst rated Marilyn Monroe wig off Amazon. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll make a video essay that's 30 minutes long about your obsession with pizza rolls. So click it.